Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and uh, before I call it a night, I want to say thank you to the people that are helping uh, fund the Consciousness Walk at the GoFundMe project. You can also contribute at uh, the Post Ignorance project on PayPal if that helps you, or you can send us a check. Send me an email at Nuts for Art, and I'll tell you where to send your check. So... Uh, I personally really appreciate it because, as you know, if I don't get help, I pay for everything. And I think these things are important. So I am, you know, like willing to deal with it because it's important. And I appreciate the people that are helping to support the GoFundMe project because it's really fun. So check this out. We're at $1,770 in a week now. So I think that's awesome. I was like, woohoo, that's great. Um, I had this idea that if each one of my subscribers could get one person to contribute $25, we would pass our mark. Uh, and that would be really awesome. And then I'm going to assume that that's going to happen because I think that's easy. Everybody can get one person to look at it. You know, look into what's really going on. There might somebody that you know knows about it. And really, the consciousness walk is really just about helping people decide we're going to be conscious of it. We're not going to just pretend it's not here because it's here to stay for the next 100,000 years. I mean, what are we going to call it? The mystery diseases for the next fucking 100,000 years? Is mystery the new word for radiation? No. Let's just talk about what it really is so scientists can study it and figure it out and isolate it and figure out how to neutralize it so our species can survive. Goodness gracious. So um, I want to thank the people that appreciate that train of thought <laughs> and are contributing to the, uh, the uh, GoFundMe page because that's actually a really fun idea. I have never done it. My friend Jackie, who has a nonprofit for cancer, her husband was a cancer victim and he survived. And she has, I think it's called Cancer Warriors. I'll get her... Uh, her address and I'll post it in the notes but I want to say thank you to the contributors and I'm hoping that you will share this and make an effort and I mean Kevin's going to leave on March 1st so that's the first part because that's the money part of the GoFundMe project but in on this I have a different part and I'm only going to talk for a little tiny bit because I'm again asking for ideas Kevin's going to be walking down the coast where there's not very many hotels or places to stay. So I'm thinking we need like a trailer to borrow for a month. We don't need to buy one, but if you could lend one to Kevin to live in, like a, a mobile home trailer or even a, a pickup with a trailer on the back, he, it doesn't have to be fancy. But it would be a lot easier and accommodating. I mean, if he wants to sleep on the beach, but there are places. I mean, I'm from California. I know there are places where you just cannot sleep. They, it, you cannot sleep there. And uh, so I am asking for ideas here. And I don't know what Kevin's been up to because we don't actually really talk. <laughs> I mean, he does his gig, I'm busy and do mine, and he basically, you know, we talk about stuff in general, and we agree, we come to agreement, we call up and talk about the big ideas, but I don't know where his plans on, his, he's the one traveling, but I am saying to you, I have not heard him say that he has a truck with a camper in the back, for example, that somebody's going to lend us, but He's got a license. There's no reason that we could not. We don't need to buy a camper. We could just borrow a camper. Or maybe somebody in California has a camper that we can drive from one place to the up to, you know, like he can do it. And then on the way back, he can drive it back to you or have, have it driven back or something. But anyways, that's the second part of this video that I needed to talk to you about because... I've asked Kevin about it, and he's like, oh, something will work out. So I'm not that kind of person. I think we need to make plans. Kevin ended up spending the night in New York City on a park bench because he planned on somebody who didn't pick him up and made no other plans. 
no plan B. That's not my idea. Like, I, I, if I had known that would have happened, I'd have just gotten him a hotel room. Like, there is no way that should have happened. So, after that, like, now I'm just going to put it out there, you guys, since we're getting group funding that maybe some group people will help us figure this part of it out. Because Kevin's going. He is going to walk. And if it means the cops rouse him and say, hey, bud, you can't sleep here, and he only gets four hours of sleep that day, that's what he'll do. I know Kevin. But he's an AML patient. He's not finished yet. He's only in the first, like, third year of recovery. I mean, you have to go five to six years in cancer before you can really slack up on your sleep and your eating patterns. And then not really very much. So I think... Uh, as a member of the Post Ignorance Project, I'm asking the public to <laughs> give us some ideas on maybe if anybody has like a camper we could borrow. So thanks a lot for all of your support. Really, it, it's exciting to know that there's other human beings who really want this out in the public because that's what this is doing, getting it out in the public. Part of that, though, is not not only contributing, but, you know, like actively engaging and being willing to step out of the box in your own little space wherever you're at like figure a way like even to do your own videos on YouTube to just engage people because once people really get it you cannot help but pay attention you're going to start eating organic you're going to you know contact your congressman if you you know you'll pay attention to the NRC and when they start I mean, we need to watch the NRC right now. We really need to watch the congressional hearings because, believe you me, the people, Vitter, he thinks nuclear is a great idea. They think nuclear is the way to go. We need nuclear. The, uh, the people who think that nuclear harms people, they think that's completely ridiculous. Uh, they think that the science that we believe is incorrect, that it's been, quote, disproved. That's because they said so, not because it's been disproved. We can look at the children in Chernobyl and know that. So anyways, I'm going to end here, and I hope I get some responses about uh, one or two contributions more, even if we get closer to it, and some ideas about the truck, because actually I'm concerned about Kevin's health more than I am the finances, because he's pretty determined he's going to do this come freaking hell or high water, but you know what? Like, uh-uh. Like, if he's into it and he starts getting sick, he might just keep pushing himself until he gets too sick. That's ridiculous. So, anyways. Ciao, you guys. Thanks a lot. Find your courage feet. Ciao.